Hello, this is Hani from Digital Logic. Today we've got uh, Mick Jones from Lit Up Digital, who has graciously given up his time and brought with us, brought with himself a, a nice little present to show us. And we're just going to talk about the uh, Sony NEX FS700. Good morning, yeah, Mick. Yeah, I'm really excited about this camera. Actually, I was quite a fan of the FS100, and uh, this is uh, a new addition to the lineup, which has some, you know, improved features over the FS100, which I believe is still, it's still part of the lineup. It's not, this isn't meant to be a replacement camera for okay. that one. Um, so what we've got is a 4K sensor in this one that is going to be 4K record enabled to an external unit at some point mm -hmm. down, down the, the, in the future. What I really like about, about this unit that I've found so far, just, just in, in sort of handling it already this morning, is that there's a, a great improvement in this, this top handle here. That's right, I noticed, and I think it's actually metal, where this one has a metal part that has a lot of plastic componentry, where that seems fairly solid. Yeah, I found that I was always needing to, to rig that up in just something that was a bit more sturdy, but this is quite an improvement that they've got here. It's funny that you say that, because even on our production one that we send out, we've actually brought uh, the Berkeley Systems toughened, you know, metal right. handle with a cheese top cheese plate. So, yeah, with that, you, you sort of can get away with it. And yeah, you've, you've got a, a few extra mounting points on here as well. And the mic can be uh, taken off this shoe mount and mounted. That way you get it lower. And, and you, can, you can change the position of that. Which, which is, is quite cool. handy because these days a lot of the manufacturers for electronic viewfinders like Zacuto, you know, rely on connections, you know, whether it's, it's the hot shoe or the quarter 20 or the 3.8. So having that on a metal handle already gets you in a position where you can get it right here if you're doing shoulder rig. Yeah. It's almost closer to the mark to start with. You don't need additional accessories yeah. to get it to where you need it. Absolutely. The other the other big thing that's that I would say is quite a, a change in, in, in using this unit over the, the 100 is the addition of ND, built in N D filters. Mm -hmm. Gonna make a lot of people happy with that. I think so, yeah. Like I, that was, you know, having to use a matte box or, or the, if you if you want to use the uh, fader NDs, you get a slightly different look, Absolutely, which is, yeah. is a nice look in itself, but it's so so quick to be able to just switch these uh, NDs on, on at the front of the unit here that are built in. I must say, looking at that, you know, when I saw this one, and you see how close the sensor is to the front of the mount, it's some fantastic engineering to be able to fit that in there, mm. and there's such a small distance to be able to do it. And I, and I always thought, you know, just you physically can't do it because it's so close to the actual opening of the, of the mount, but they seem to have, have engineered around that. Yeah, they've managed to get that in there. A couple of other differences, like the unit itself, as you can see, is, is the, yeah, the, much more the bulky rear, at the front. Yeah, the rear part of the body looks almost identically in size. Actually, we measured those, and actually the uh, horizontal and uh, sort of the XY this way, that plane is identical dimension. Mm. It's actually, the only difference is the height. That's probably just under 10 mil higher in the, in the rear part. And what we've got, uh, a different position here for the audio channel 2 input. Uh, it's been moved to here, which it was on the rear, and we've still got um, one on the side. Where, which, As uh, per this one, yes. Uh, but what we have replaced in the back here is the 3G HD SDI output, which is uh, another nice new feature that you can run a HD SDI monitor That's uh, right. for viewing. You've and that's what they're going to rely on too for the uh, 4K down the track with yeah, the firmware upgrade. Absolutely, and, and you've still got the HDMI output as well. Um, one of the other sort of slight differences is the buttons on the side here. Uh, they're still in the same configuration, but they're slightly raised. A bit, bit easier to get access to, but if you were worried about bumping them, they've got the uh, hold switch in here as well, which that's is right, a new yeah. thing, so you can't accidentally bump those. And that, that could be an issue if you were you know, putting a viewfinder on the on the front of the side and you, 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 your head was up there, you could be bumping a few buttons. So you can put that on hold and avoid that now. So this was going to say, I actually thought some of the benefits of having those sort of indented was to actually protect that. But as you're right, they've got around that by having that hold button. And uh, as far as uh, functionality in the menus and, and operationally, you've also got a choice now between ISO and gain. Okay. So you can, you can go up in increments of and I prefer to, to do that to know where I'm, I'm sitting with the ISO rather than a gain situation. And um, what I'm really looking forward to, and this is a big, um, a big bit of you know new feature, is the high frame rates that you can oh, get yeah, on this. Absolutely. And, and that's I'm going to put that through its its paces on a shoot, uh, on a music video shoot, and on a fashion shoot. So okay. I think it'll be great for that. It can go up to 240 frames a second uh, in HD. Full HD mode, yeah, as which is 1080, <coughs> and if you're in NTSC, and if you're in PAL land, it'll it'll go to 200. 200. Yeah.
And I was going to say to you, talking about f high frame rates, you know, everyone loves to get high and high, especially from the indie world or the creative filmmakers. You know, you don't see a music video these days where they don't use some sort of slow-mo. And, and I suppose for coming from a rental house, we get a lot of requests about high-speed frame rates. Um, sometimes people come in just to hide the epic, specifically for, you know, that 300 frames, um, just because there's nothing else out there than that sort of price point. Um, but this is going to be a really great hit for um, those sort of filmmakers um, to be able to access high frame rates with no quality loss up to, as you're saying, a 240 in NTSC mm. and, and be able to shoot at that, at that you know, high quality at, at a really low price point. And no crop either. There's no crop factor for that and it doesn't... Um, you, you've still got your full 1080. You actually don't have to go to any external recorder. You can still record that onto your, the SD cards, class yep. 10s, I think these yes. require, because yep. it's got an internal buffer yep. that will let uh, that will capture all the information and then write it to the card at a speed that the card can cope with. So you don't even need to get any... That's another thing that makes it accessible, I yeah. think, and, and, and easy to just put into use on a production that you might be using this camera at the normal 25 or standard frame rates. And then if you d decide that you've, you're going to, on the same unit, go into high speed stuff, it's not a, a total, you know, adding a new uh, external recorder or anything like that. It'll just happen on the cards, mm. the same type of cards that you can use. The other, standard, other biggest visual change that I, I saw also <coughs> is to this side handle. Do you want to just explain that one, Mick, in terms of the... And this was quite, a, I suppose, a dumb uh, handle in that there was no electronics, no real smarts, just really to hold the camera, mm. where this one seems to have done more. I mean, this has, also has a start-stop, but that's about it, and that's what this cable goes for, but it yeah. seems to have a lot more functionality. So the new, the new side handle on the FS700 has the start-stop at the rear here, but it's also got a zoom rocker, uh, uh, iris control as well and a photo mode here because this camera has two modes now with the, the 4k sensor it can take some de pretty decent stills yes. so yeah. you can uh you've got a photo mode so you can actually fire uh t to capture still photos from do you from know if you can well. do that while it's doing video because i've heard rumors in other cameras where you can actually be recording video and just, just snap them off as you go and it captures that frame as a still i don't know if i i don't know i haven't tried that on yeah. this yet i don't know yeah. if that's a function something to try today Mick, when yeah, you go on absolutely. this fashion shoot <laughs> yeah so it'll be good to put this camera through its paces in a real production environment as yeah. well. So I'll have a chance to put this on uh, a, a music video job and a fashion film. Um, so I'm not I'm not going to be just sort of trying to find random things to test the yes. camera with. It'll yeah. be good to just put it in a real production environment with lighting and talent and, and, and all kinds of stuff that, you know, data wrangling and all the stuff that you need to do on a, on a, on a regular on a job shoot, yeah. and see how it goes. One of the things we also discussed early on was just that I was surprised about the oversampling that the sensor now does in terms of you know having a 4K ability. Um, you know, five years ago with things like the Panasonic uh, HVX200, they had to, that most of those cameras of that era were undersampling and then scaling up to get 1080. Um, these newer cameras now seem to be going the other way where they oversample the image um, so they get really high quality, a lot of detail, and then, you know, they can then uh, spit out the signal they need. So that's, you know, that's sort of where we are, I suppose, in the technology area you know, in terms of the, how quickly mm. they're advancing and how quickly these cameras are, ca cameras are coming out. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's exciting and frightening at the, same, <laughs> at the same time, isn't it, really? It sure is. And, and just it, not even on a financial point of view, but, or, but just on logistics and getting to know the new cameras as, as producers and agencies want to, you know, explore, oh, well, let's get, let's get the new high-speed camera or yeah. the new high-res camera. You've got to, got to keep it's on It's funny, on by the time you that. get familiar and start getting really to know that camera and be able to take control of its abilities, you've got to move on to the next thing. The new thing, one's out, Because yeah. that's what the big buzz is, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, well, I suppose that's your job to keep up with it, isn't it, Mick? It is. You've got to stay on the <laughs> blog, stay on the, the internet and, and just trawl, trawl the net for all the new info and rumours and everything that's coming yeah. out and, and, and find out about how other people are using it. That's a really interesting thing to do as well as, is when, when people share information about when they do have one of these new cameras on a job, they might, you know, they might discover something about it that you know, impacts their workflow or their yeah. lighting or some other thing that's external to, to just ergonomics or yes. specs. So yes. Yep. Yeah, that's what I want to do with this as well, which will be interesting. So yeah, so we'll be uh, obviously hopefully get your uh, view after you do these next couple of jobs with this particular camera and yeah. see what you think of it. Absolutely. Look forward to it. So thank you very again, Mick. And uh, hopefully we'll speak to Mick after he does these couple of jobs and just get his sort of recap on how it went in the shoot as you know, a heavy user of the FS100 and an owner previously, I think, mm -hmm. um, to see how we felt about this new one. No worries. Look forward to coming back. Thank you very much.